The fact is that there is racial insensitivity. People have to be made aware of what other people feel like, what, what insults them, what is demeaning to them. It's important that people know they don't want to. Many people don't want to hurt other people's feelings, but it's a, it makes a big difference. It makes a gigantic difference in the way a child is able to grow up and have a, self, a sense of self-esteem. You got in trouble for refusing to call trans men and women by their preferred personal pronouns. No, I wonder that's not actually true. I got in trouble because I said I would not follow the compelled speech dictates of the federal and provincial government. I actually never got in trouble for not calling anyone anything. Right. That, that didn't happen. You wouldn't follow the change of law which was designed not to once it was law. discrimination. No, no. Why that, well, that's your... what they said it was designed to do. Okay, huh. you cited freedom of speech in that. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Well, I'm, I'm very glad I put you on the spot. <laughs> well, well, I'm very glad that I've no, you get my, my point. Speech. You get my point. It's like you're, you're doing what you should do, which is digging a bit to see what the hell's going on. So and that you, is what you should do. But you're you, exercising you your freedom of speech to certainly risk offending me. And that's fine. I think you, more power to you as far as I'm concerned. So you haven't sat there and... I'm just trying, I'm just trying to work that out. I mean... Ha, gotcha. You have got me. You have got me. I'm trying to work that through in my head. Yeah, 